So, you want to learn how to import HDRs? Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to Tuts by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to import HDRI maps in Blender 2.82B? A? I don't know. EV. Anyway, and uh, actually, we're going to be in uh, the material mode today because that's what we're, what we're doing. So, um, you can see right now I have an HDRI loaded up, which looks really cool. It's uh, If you go to material mode right here, and then this little drop down box, you can see you have this nice little HDRI here. And you can just hit and, and change the vibe of the scene. We've got a cooler one, a warmer one, another warm one. Oh, no. Nope. We have a, uh, a darker, nighttime, moodier one. Um, and the cool thing is, is that we can uh, just switch between these to have a nice little thing going on. Uh, parking lot. You see they're all different images, which is nice. And they just kind of shine light um, using the bright parts of the image to shine light onto the object in the scene, which is a really, really cool thing. Um, and it gives a really natural kind of light space because it is a picture of real life. So... The way to import them is to hit this little this little cogwheel here. It's super simple. Just grab that little cogwheel and then hit uh, right down here, HDRIs install. And then you can just go ahead and pick any image you have on your computer. Literally anything will work. Um, my my advice is to pick an image that has dark darks and bright brights. So it, it's not just completely one value. It doesn't. It's not like just solid clouds or something. Um, it has different ups and downs the same way that uh, like this image from Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint uh, or, you know, my friend Jesus. Um, so we have two different ones here. And you can see if I import uh, Breakpoint, uh, image from Breakpoint, you can see that uh, I can go back down to this little button and hit this little uh, HDR over here, which is the one we just imported. I can just hit that. And you can see this one has a nice bluish tune, tone to it. Um, and you can see the little mountains and the trees and, and, the, and the specular right here. I turn specular up and rough it up and stuff. So you'd have a really nice kind of light just from literally this. It just looks really good. Uh, and the cool thing is, is that it's just, like I said, it's totally just that one image that's helping us out right now. So super, super cool stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, you can do this with literally Im any image and you have a nice way to light your scene. Like I said, if we use my man Jesus over here, you can uh, just grab him put them into the scene boom we got two hdris installed now just hit that up boom and now we got jesus let me turn the roughness down look at that now you see we got we got we got jesus we got jesus guys he's i think this right him right here this is his head he's holding the sheep yeah that's him he's he's just doing his jesusly duties he's just doing his jesus only there he is right there see look at him look, look at jesus look at jesus just holding the sheep look at that it's adorable we got this beautiful HDRIs. You can do so much with them. This one has a nice reddish kind of tone, of course, because that's Jesus' face. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see you have a really, really nice way to light scene. Super easy. Um, cool stuff. And also works on uh, this bad boy back here. Oh, there's Big Jesus. Look at that. Look at Big Jesus. Oh, man. Wow. Check it out. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you can rough it up, get a nice, get a nice kind of reflection going on here. Um, same thing for this as well. So, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Hope you learned something new today. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.